You are watching a clip from the Sports and Sorts podcast. All right, so let's get on to the Cowboys versus the Rams. Um, I, you know, I keep underestimating these Cowboys. Their defensive front is the real deal, and I have given them a lot of shine. Zeke is a talented running back. I've given him a lot of shine. But I just don't respect this team, their secondary, or their quarterback. Um, I do think that this will be a tough game because defense usually wins. But I just have to think that with a lose or go home situation that the Rams have that, that have right now in front of them, that the Rams will find a way to get it together on defense, put lots of pressure on Dak while let, not letting Zeke get 200 yards. Because I think the only way the Cowboys win this game is if they can hold Zeke under 200 total yards. That's rushing and catching out of the backfield. If they do that, they should win this game. And that is not going to be any small order because the Rams were terrible against the run. Like, this is a team that during the regular season, Zeke would rush for like 170 yards. Like, that's, that's how bad this Rams team was. Which is, for, which is odd when you, you know, consider when you have Sue, and, Sue and, and Aaron Donald yeah. kind of clogging that defensive line. You but would, they're so you know. focused on the quarterback. <clears throat> it's like they just yeah. get by, and then they just, have to, they just have to figure out a way to get around those guys. And if you're yeah. not tackling those, the, the running back in the backfield, it's, there's no, you're not yeah. getting anything out of it. I so, think that goes to the obsession that defensive and defensive players have with sacks. Yes. Instead of just trying to control the line of scrimmage. Go after and, the ball. And, yeah. Go after the ball and, and make your tackles. And these guys get obsessed with stats. And I understand it to an extent because as a defensive player, you're measured by those stats. And those are some of the stats that drive salaries. So, yeah. You know, I mean, you got a guy like Aaron Donald fin finishing with like 20 sacks in a year. That That's great for his bottom line. Yeah, he's got – he made a lot you of know. money off of it. Uh, he so has. I have this scored uh, Rams winning 24 to 18 at home. Uh, and I actually – I slot this game into a very similar spot that I would slot the Chiefs-Colts game in. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the Cowboys are picking up a lot of momentum. You know, again, you've had the Rams off for a couple of weeks. People are overthinking and over dissecting this Rams team. Yep. And I think that McVay is going to have these guys ready. I think he's feeding this team a lot of the criticism that I'm sure they're hearing through the media. I think he's, should. I think he's, I think he's pumping it into that locker room. And I think these guys are going to be focused and I think they're going to be pissed. And I don't think that the Cowboys are a good enough team to overcome something like that. Um, I just don't and, – and, 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 and again, the Cowboys, I think they're a living, dangerously kind of team because despite the fact that they have some weapons, I like Zeke. Mm -hmm. I do, obviously, I, I like what Amari Cooper has meant to this team since he's gotten here. You know, and I like Beasley as kind of like a number two, number three receiver. They've got some weapons, but they're still a team that I, I can see – you know, if they take too much of a knockout hit to the jaw early on and they're down like 14 or 17 points at some point, they just, they're not the, to me, they're not the kind of team that can bounce back from that. Yeah. Because then you pretty much, you don't abandon Ezekiel Elliott, but you got to use him more as out of the, out of the backfield passing. And, you know, unless he breaks a big one, you're going to use up a lot of time dinking and dunking your way down the field with him. Uh, and again, if you make the Cowboys one dimensional, they, they should be a team that you can beat because Dak Prescott is not an elite quarterback. He's a good quarterback, slightly above being a game manager. He's a good quarterback, but not great. Right. So I have this game a little bit more high scoring. And I actually think, though, that the, the Rams are going to get up early and kind of pull away and win comfortably. I have it 30 to 16 Rams. Whoa. Yeah, a two score, a two score win. I, 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 yeah, I have a hard I think time. The Rams, that I think the Rams are, are going to show up. Comfortable, but all right. So we, uh, we are, well, we're in the same boat here. But just you have a lot, even more of a blowout yeah. than I did. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have just watched a clip from Sports and Sorts, where we go live every Monday and Saturday on YouTube. Thanks for watching.